the people of Illinois will forever be left to fight over smaller and smaller slices. Our citizens deserve a path to economic growth and empowerment. And that means putting people first and special interests last. To grow our economy, we must enact meaningful workers' compensation reform, unemployment insurance reform, lawsuit reform, pension reform, and tax reform. We've got to freeze property taxes. They're our most punishing taxes in Illinois. Cut the red tape. Cut the red tape inside state and local government. And let people control their own economic destinies. We need to end the corrupt bargains inside government and the, end the conflicts of interest in our government. We need to finally let the people have their say on a term limits amendment to the state constitution. If we make these reforms, we'll be laying a solid foundation for economic growth and prosperity. With reform, we will be able to invest more in education and give our kids world-class schools. We'll be able to invest more in our social services safety net to help our most vulnerable residents, and we'll be able to invest more in our infrastructure, which is critical. The turnaround plan here reflects President Lincoln's call to think anew and act anew. In it, we end the irresponsible and reckless practices of the past and make sure they don't happen again. We make difficult choices that no one wants to make, but it's what this occasion requires. And it's what we were all elected to do, make choices based on what's best for the next generation, not for the next election. This is our last best chance to get our house in order. Let's get it done together. Thank you all very much and God bless you for your service to the people of Illinois. Thank you. Will the Committee of Escort please come forward to escort the Governor from the Chamber? Um, the President of the Senate is recognized for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the joint session do now arise. The President of the Senate has moved that the joint session do now arise. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. The ayes have it, and the joint session will now arise. The regular session will come to order.
Representative Lang and the Chair, Mr. Clerk, committee announcements. Attention members of the House. The following committees have been canceled this afternoon. Insurance.